What? What, what, what? What the hell is this? Harumph, 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 harumph. I didn't get a harumph out of that guy. Give the governor harumph. Harumph. You watch your ass. I see you shiver with anticipation. Let the show begin. Hey, hey, everybody, this is David Heretic coming at you with another edition of Reactions, Reviews, and Rants. And tonight. Tonight! Okay. Hmm. Yeah, I, I mean, it's obviously a solo, but I don't know if this is just one person or if this is just the name of the group named after the person. We've seen a lot of those. But in any case, I'm going to say single person. We're gonna, I'm going to roll the dice on this. So... Making his debut on the channel tonight. Tonight! We have Bill Henderson. Yes, indeed. How about that? Bill Henderson making his debut on the channel. Before we go any further, for those of you who are feeling inclined, doing all of the clicks and the likes and the bibbity bibbity bop, do me a favor before you do all that stuff. Please watch the whole video first, okay? Give me a chance to actually earn those clicks and likes. Now, after the video's done, still feel like doing all those clicks and likes, then by all means, feel free to click away. This comes as a request from Barry Ryder, and Barry wanted to see me react to this. It is Bill Henderson with a song called Fly At Night. Not to be confused with the Rush song Fly By Night. I'm, I'm sure these are two completely different things. Now, have I heard the song before? No, I have not. To the best of my knowledge, this does not resonate with me in any way, shape, or form. However, there's always a possibility I may have heard the song in passing and I just don't realize it. So as always, if I start listening to the song and I suddenly go, wait a second. Yeah, I've heard this song before. I'll let you know. That's the truth. You know me, I'm gonna be honest with you guys. This was posted by the Taylor James Show, okay? And the video has 233,000 views. It'll get you there. Other than that, there's really nothing else left to say. Link to the original video will be down below in the video description for your viewing pleasure at your leisure. Let's get started. What do you say? Are you ready? Are you ready? Because here we go. All right, here we go. Bill Henderson of Chili Whack. So Chili Whack, I guess is the name of the band he's actually in. Bill Henderson of Chili Whack performs Fly at Night in episode one, season two. Okay, so they're kicking off season two with this. All right. Of the Taylor James Show. Cool. All right, let's do this. All right, boy, let's do this. Four men in a rock and roll band Fly at night in the morning we land Fly at night till we're satisfied See the morning from the other side And when you close your eyes Sleep comes fast When you fly the universe Well, yeah, you need some rest, yeah, yeah You need some rest Faces. Yeah, we like to see your faces. Time is just a rubber band. Time is at our command. And when we look out and see you there, you see much closer. Yeah, yeah. You feel so near. Yeah, yeah. You feel so Really well. Their voices blend amazingly well. 
Like, you could close your eyes and you would think that he's just, they, they might be using like a backing track, you know, and they're just doubling his voice. They have his voice playing or singing along with him singing live with his own voice on a recorded track. That's how well their voices are blending. That is scary good. Um, dang, I, I did not see that coming. I, I saw a mic in front of her, and I'm like, oh, they're going to sing some harmonies. No, she's singing the exact same note that he is, and their tone is just blending ridiculously well. Um, the song. Upbeat, nice, good groove, good amount of energy, good amount of drive. Uh, feels nice. I like it. Definitely keeping me awake without question. <laughs> I'm not falling asleep. This is not a snooze fest. Um, I was going to say something, but I, I'm going to hold off until the song is completely over before I say it. Um, let's, let's keep going. Let's see where this goes here. That is bright. I'm gonna pause. Let's back up so we can get the entire. Uh, we, the sounds like we got a guitar solo. Yeah, right here. Okay. Um, I don't have to pause in the middle of it. There really isn't a whole lot to talk about from a songwriting standpoint. Um, the chorus from the root down to the seven up to the four. I like it. Da, 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 da. You can take it however you want. You, you can invert it. Uh, or take it, yeah, you can go like, you know, go down the octave, you know, root to the seven, up to the four. Or you can go eight, seven, four. Either one will work. Um, Very typical uh, progression. It, it's not difficult it's not unusual it but it sounds good and it's pleasing to the ear and ultimately at the, at the end of the day isn't that what you want so it sounds good um a lot of power in that room man that little room you got you got a drummer you got a bassist you have an electric guitarist you have a steel guitarist you have an acoustic guitarist you have another electric guitarist who's doing lead vocals and then you have a keyboard back there as well so you, oh, one, two, three, four, five, six. You got seven people in that little room. Woo! It's gonna be tight in there. 
Hope everybody showered. Um, no, it, every, everything sounds good. It sounds full. It really does. I, I was. I'm gonna not gonna lie, folks. When the song kicked off and the song started, I, I was looking at all the people and I'm listening to it, going, I don't, I don't know about this. This this sounds a little thin. And then everybody joined in and the song actually kicked in. I'm like, oh, there we go. There's the power. There's the fullness. Now I hear seven people. Yeah. Uh, I'm digging that steel guitar. I really am. Uh, if it sounds nice, the the little the little things that he's just kind of doing to you know accent the song a little bit here and there sounds really nice. Um, so I got I got no issue with this. None. Uh, I'm I'm digging the tune. I'm digging the feel. I'm digging the groove. Let's uh, let's get to this uh, let's get to this guitar solo and uh, we'll finish the song out and we'll get to the review. The drum on the cymbal, nice, nice touch. Hammering on the body of the guitar to get that resonance, nice, nice touch to you. Yeah, yeah. Uh, honestly, not a lot to talk about. Uh, from every perspective, I mean, I, I, I'm gonna, I'm gonna actually probably. Make this a pretty short review because there really is not a lot to talk about. There, there really isn't, and no reason to talk about something for ten minutes when it only needs thirty seconds. You know what I mean? So let me get my thoughts together. Let me make sure I didn't forget anything, and I'll see you in the review, and we'll talk about it. Well, there you go, folks. That was Bill Henderson with "Fly at Night." Uh, this was a request from Barry Ryder. Okay, um, I have, I have a question, but I'll, I'll save the question for later. Uh, but other than that question, there really honestly is not a lot to talk about that I didn't talk about during the reaction. So this is probably, I, I'm saying probably here, I'm not making any promises, but this is probably going to be a pretty short review. So don't get too comfortable, folks. Let's start off with the score first on a scale of one to ten. I'm going to give that a 6.8. Yeah, 6.8. I feel good about that score. Let me tell you why. Why? Okay, 6.8. What does that mean? Well, a 6.8 would translate to a pretty good scale rating, so I think this is a pretty good song. It would be 3 out of 5 stars, and it would also get a B letter grade, not a D, not a C, a B, B is in boy. So there you go, a 6.8, pretty good scale rating, three out of five stars, and a B letter grade. Now, how did I come up with this score? Ha <laughs> ha, so glad you asked. First things first, keep in mind, every song by every artist, I don't care if it's the first time on the channel or the 20th time on the channel. I don't care if you're the most popular artist in the world, are the least popular in the world, uh, least popular artists in the world. I don't care. Everybody starts at 5.0. Everybody does, okay? So we started out at a 5.0 and they worked their way up to a 6.8, okay? So good for them, good increase, all right? So that's the first thing. 
Uh, because I know a lot of people going 6.8. That sounds like a really low score. No, nah, everybody starts at five. Okay, trust me. We, we, we could have gone down into the negatives. We don't want that. No, they get a 6.8. And I'm, let me. And th these are the reasons why I think it deserves a 6.8. The songwriting. If I'm being honest, uh, pretty simplistic. You know, it, it, it doesn't sound bad. You know, it, it sounded really good, actually. It, I, I, dug, I dug the direction of where the chords were going. I'm just not going to sit here and blow things out of proportion and go, oh my God, this was some of the most phenomenal songwriting I've ever heard in my life. No, that's not true. That would me be lying to you. That would be me pandering. And I, I know there may be a lot of new people on the channel who are Bill, who are Bill Henderson fans, and they're probably used to other reactors, you know, oh, this is the most amazing song I've ever heard in my life. This is incredible. This is so deep and so moving and so touching. And guys, I'm sorry. I am not that way. I don't pander. I don't lie just to get clicks. I'm just, I don't care about that stuff. Uh, I'm going to give it to you straight, and I'm going to tell you exactly what I think. And I think this was a pretty good song. The songwriting makes sense. I like the chordal progression, the one to the four, down to the two, up to the seven, completely skipping the five and the six, and to some extent, even skipping the three, uh, leaving that gap there. But that gap was being left in, on, in, intentionally empty. So that when they went into the pre-chorus and the chorus, when they did go to the six, it made it, it was there and available, and it made it stand out. So it's smart songwriting. I'll absolutely give it that. Complex, no, but smart, definitely intelligent. Uh, I, you can tell some thought went into the chordal progression of this song. Um, everything that the, the instrumentalist did, drumming sounded solid, uh, bass playing solid. Keyboard playing, solid. Everything across the board from a musicianship standpoint was solid. I will say, I believe the lead vocalist, I believe that's Bill Henderson, I think. Uh, his guitar solos, very nice, very conducive to the song. Uh, definitely spiced the song up a little bit. Uh, so that was really well done. The steel guitar, really nice job on his part. Uh, when he would come in and fade in, and kind of take the lead for just a second before he would back off again. Just adding that extra layer, that that extra flavor, it just felt really good. Very, very tastefully done. And most importantly, not overly done, like we've seen a lot of other people do, where they will, you know, try to flavor the song up and end up doing too much. Have you ever tried to make like a? I'm going to use a pasta sauce for example. Have you, take, have you made a spaghetti sauce from scratch? Have you ever done it? Um, one of the ingredients that people usually put in spaghetti, and I, I do too, one of the things that people usually put into a spaghetti sauce is black pepper, right? Okay, you don't put a lot in, you know? You put, maybe it depends on how much you're making. Uh, but have you ever seen a, anybody take, you know, let's say they're making, I don't know, they're making, uh, it's just, that's just, Let's say they're making four quarts, okay? They're making four quarts of tomato sauce. Now imagine taking four quarts of tomato sauce and adding two cups of black pepper. <laughs> Could you imagine? Oh, God. It'll be peppery, all right. Ooh. Some people may like that. I do not. <laughs> uh, no, usually something like that, you're going to use a tablespoon, maybe two of black pepper. And that's about all you really need. Could you imagine, seriously, taking two full cups? One, zoop, two. Could you imagine that? Oh, too much. It's the same thing with music. Sometimes you want to spice things up a little bit. You want to add a little extra flavor. Nothing wrong with that. Nothing wrong with that at all. But when you dump it in and you use so much of it, it's going to overpower the song. And all of a sudden, the song kind of loses its direction as a result. So, no, I think the steel guitarist did a, did a fine job. The biggest thing for me, and I know this is going to sound weird, especially coming from me since I don't pay attention to, you know, lyrics at all. And I, I and this, and that, listen, I didn't really pay attention to the lyrics here either. I'm focusing on the music itself. Uh, but I will say the two vocalists, I don't think I've ever heard two vocalists sing together so well that with as co coming purely from a tone of voice standpoint, the way that their two voices blended together, 
to the point where it almost sounded like one voice. That was pretty cool. I gotta say, that was really cool to see that happen. Her voice blends with his so well that if I were to close, if I hadn't watched this, let's say I just closed my eyes or let's say there was no video, it's just black screen. If I was to hear that, I am not kidding. The first thing that would have gone through my mind was, okay, he's singing along to a vocal track of himself. That's how well their voices matched, singing the exact same note to boot. When I saw there was a mic in front of her, I'm thinking, okay, they're gonna sing harmonies. There were no harmonies. <laughs> it was them singing in unison together, the same note and blending so well, it almost sounded like one voice. That was pretty cool. I, I have to admit that I felt my eyebrows raise when that happened. And that's, that, I, if I'm not, I'm not lying here, folks. I gotta say that's pretty impressive. So I gotta give it to them for that. Now, overall, I mean, I understand this is a small, they're not in front of a crowd. They're just doing a live performance inside of a small studio. And that studio was small, man. Putting seven people in there, whoo, it must've been tight. Hopefully everybody showered that day. Um, but it, it, it sounded really good. I, I got no issue with anything I heard. The levels, the mix, all done very well. Musicianship was solid across the board. A couple of highlights here and there, but for the most part, a very solid job, a very respectable job. And I have no complaints about this whatsoever. And I feel really good about giving this a pretty good score of 6.8. That's where I feel the song belongs, and that's where we're gonna stay. So. Let's wrap everything up here in a nice shiny bow, shall we? We got a 6.8, which is a pretty good scale rating, three out of five stars, and a B letter grade. Take your pick, I don't care, whichever one of those floats your boat. Final word, final score, I have spoken. Well, that's gonna do it for this edition of Reactions, Reviews, and Rants. Hope you all enjoyed the show. Hope I was able to entertain you. If I was able to put a smile on your face and brighten your day, then I did my job, and I'm so glad I could do it. If you guys feel like joining the fan base, go ahead and click on that button down there. If you guys want to like the video, go ahead and like the video. If you guys want to ring the bell, go ahead and ring the bell. It honestly doesn't make any difference at all to me, but if you guys feel like doing these things, well then by all means, feel free to do so. Well, that's going to do it for the night, folks. Thank you very much for watching. And as always, this is David Heretic signing off, reminding you to stay fabulous and support each other. Later, peace.